everybody this video is for theta and the total three and i want to explain a little bit what's happening here potentially um, looking at the price of theta turning on the td sequential you could see we have a nine cell now this nine cell is being ignored you can see the price is continuing to march up which is a good sign if i turn on the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that the price is breaching the 50. So the 50% retrace line, not quite there yet. Um, we really want to see it get somewhere in between um, the 702 at $1.27 to um, that $1.16 area. So we're getting right we're getting close to that area. Now, the big thing for me is what happens when we get to that retracement level. So as you guys know, my main thesis since all the way back down here when uh, theta was about 63, 64 cents right in here has been that we will eventually get back all the way up here somehow and uh so that's that's my main deal is a is a extension right is a how well not an extension but a retracement so i think we have the potential to get up into this between six and ten dollar area so we'll see if that plays out but that's not really what i wanted to talk about what i want to talk about is first number one we can see um, this as a potential channel here right and the channel is descending which is good because usually when you have a descending channel you break out if you have an ascending channel you break down so we can confirm that we did break out right here but then more importantly we back tested the channel and more important than that we back tested the bull market support band and more important than that we are getting a reaction off both so that's pretty good so looking at it a little closer in detail obviously right you have a point here almost a point there point there we break out right and this breakout is an a b c which is a flat so we have one two three i'm hoping this is four five a b c in the middle of four we get that five if not then this is one two three four five a b c then we continue higher. Either way, we are looking really good for more upside. Now here's the big thing. So when you look at the price of theta, it looks pretty similar. Now, a lot of people can say, well, this looks bearish to me. This looks bearish because you have a shoulder, you have a head, and now you're coming up for another shoulder. Yeah, that could be the case. That could very, very well be the case. It could be a total head and shoulders pattern, right? That could totally be the fact right but if that was the case if that is the case and we do have a, uh, a head and shoulders and we do break down the good thing is we have wiggle room we have wiggle room coming from here right around in here and we also have wiggle room all the way down here right so you can see right in here we have a little resistance area right which is now support right we also have support down here so if the price were to fulfill this head and shoulders right we come down here we have support here and if that doesn't work we have support here and all that to me would be is just finishing up wave two Right, so wave two would look like this. So here's wave one, one, two, three, four, five. Wave two, A, B, 
and now we come down for C. So C could ha end anywhere in here, it can end up here, it can end down here. The point is, the good thing is we have wiggle room. So as long as we stay above 64 cents, 65 cents, we're good, we're golden. There's nothing to worry about because this is still a one, two, right? So we're in, a, we finished one, now we're in two. And a lot of times wave two can retrace as much as 50% or even 75% of the entire wave one before ultimately going into that wave three. So just be just be mindful of that if we do break down and if this is a head and shoulders. To me, it's just another buying opportunity at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah. But right now, if you look at the structure of theta and then look at the structure of H bar, it looks pretty similar. But the good thing about having different altcoins and similar charts is you can kind of compare, especially with indicator. Now you can see we landed on a nine here and a nine here. So to me, it looks a little uh, overextended on the 16 hour chart. Let's go to the daily chart. Um, still have a little room there, but what could potentially happen here is and the same thing with theta, right? But it's a different look. Um, a pullback, an ABC pullback, maybe back test this area down here and then continue higher, right? And what that would be is a shoulder, an inverse head and shoulders right here. So we're coming up to this resistance. We're on a nine following right we we did back test the bull market support band we had a nine buy down here right we continued up so now we could potentially come down so looking back at theta which by the way is the only um it's actually green uh on trading view and a lot of them are red right now so that's that's interesting um, yeah, we're coming up to that resistance right in here. So how that could look for theta is a back test of about a dollar three, a dollar area. So, you know, we get up here, maybe a little higher, come back down, ABC a little bit there, start to round out and then continue higher back into the retracement area. And that would be a shoulder, a head, and a shoulder. Potentially an inverse head and shoulders. So the measured move on that would be approximately about a dollar forty-seven area. So basically challenging these highs up here. So if it was an in, if it was a head and shoulders. Um, uh, a regular head and shoulders, so like this, boom, 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 then the measured move for this one, uh, it's not going to be totally exact, um, depending where it falls, right, depending where it falls, so, I mean, it's, it's a little subjective, I could pull it up a little bit more. Um, but that's about 61 cents. So it's, it's pretty bad if we get down there, but to me, you know, it would be probably a wick off or in other words, back testing this, uh, this area in here. Um, you know, so as long as we don't break this low, if we start trading a bunch of candles down here, then it, the probabilities increase, but that is the ultimate low, and we could, if it wanted to, we could get a double bottom, right? So you come down for a bottom, come back up, come down for another bottom, a double bottom. This is actually a good thing. 
if it happened because a double bottom would be um you know uh most likely a continuation to the upside now do i think that's going to happen no i think if anything if we do come down here it'll be a higher low rather than a double bottom but uh only time will tell but for now uh, there's no reason to think that because we are above the bull market support band we are continuing to rise up now the the way theta comes back down in this ABC, which I'm kind of leaning towards at the moment, just because, or not even an ABC, even just a, 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 a back a, a back test. So, um, some type of pullback. Not to say that this is an ABC, but some type of pullback where we get down here and retest these areas down in here around a dollar right before continuing up maybe we test right we tested the bull market support band we come up we test it again and then continue higher the reason why i think a pullback is coming is because if you look at total three we have a nine cell now this nine cell could be a pullback nine in a continuation or it could be a reversal nine um when i say reversal a short-term reversal nine um you could see right here we also have a nine so this was actually pretty nice we have a nine here right here which what pulled back the price and we came up in this this flat right here and then we came up again in another nine now this nine reversed the price, right? It reversed it. So we came back down, right? And now we come back up again. Now we have another nine. So the question is, is this nine gonna back test the bull market support band? Is the nine gonna land on these green dots here, right? Because if you look, to me, this is one of the most important charts in crypto at the moment because total three, is basically all of the market except Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? So you could see here's a nine. We pull back into the green dots. Here's a nine. We could potentially pull back into the green dots. Now, more than that, what we could see here is just like what Bitcoin did. Let me pull up Bitcoin real quick. So I want you to look at this structure here. When Bitcoin was over here, I remember putting out a video that this could be a flat and it ended up being a flat. Right. And then more than that, you could see um, we had a nine here. Right. So a lot of people works, you know, we had came up and then we continued higher again, which gave people the bullish impression. But since this came up in a corrective way. Right. So here's a high right here. Right. And it took out the high, but it didn't impulsively take out the high. It correctively took out the high. So that's why I was thinking, okay, I mean, it could be a flat here. So a flat is an A, B, C. And look at the C. The C landed on a nine. It broke out. It retested the green dots. Then it shot all the way up, made another nine. So that nine could either be a one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, which is what? W, X, Y, which is what? Just, it could be a part of a much bigger flat or um, the start of a distribution phase, right? Which I've been thinking here. So oscillating up and down during that environment, the alts can catch up. But if you look closely at this structure here, you can see 
right? So just look at that structure where it took out the high, had a nine. Okay, so now let's look at total three. So check this out, look at this. So we could see here, right? We have a nine, we pull back, we could get something like this. And look at this, this nine broke above this. So we came up, so what we could see here, maybe a little higher, maybe not, then we come back down. So look at, so you could see the structure. That structure is a flat, potentially, right? So we could have another flat. So A, B, C. It could be an expanded fat, flat. It can be an irregular flat where it comes down here and then swoops out, right? So look at the price of Bitcoin one more time. You could see that this, here's the low here. It took out the low, so it went down here, right? And this took out the high, right? So a lot of people like to say it's a broadening type of pattern. So looking at um, total three, taking everything off the screen, you can see that could potentially here. So here was the top right there and then here's the bottom so let's say we come down here right so what do we have we have one two three that's a w one two three that's an x one two three that's a y or if it's a, if it is a flat, it could be a W or ABC, right? So the whole thing would be A, B, and C, and then we go. So hopefully, I think it has the power to not be that because of the bull market support band, you can see Bitcoin didn't even get to it. So right here, Bitcoin did not um, test the bull market support band and actually came up short, right? Which tells me eventually, I was hoping we could test it and test it and test it, then go, but we didn't which tells me we're probably going to test it now or coming up soon, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So then if that's the case, then we can see what? Total three doing something similar. Which is what? A, a potential flat. So A, B, C. So let's get back down here, test the bull market support band, then we can get the heck out of here, right? Now, if this is invalid, you know, this is sort of the short-term bearish situation. If this is invalid, then what do we have? We have a, let me zoom out here. Okay, we have a, let me see. We have a one, two, three, four, five. A, B, C. One, two, three, four, five. So that would just be a, 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 an impulse, a continuation to the upside. Right, and that would be an A, B, C. So let's get back up here. So we'll see if that plays. If not, then 
a retest of the bull market support band, then a continuation. I'm expecting higher. Just not sure about what's happening in this corrective phase. Um, so for me, the idea here with theta would be to say, look, if that is what's happening, because you could see theta is pumping. Look at the daily candle, right? But if I go to Bitcoin, it's red. It looks like it's going down, right? So it doesn't, you know, when that's what I'm saying. When, when Bitcoin goes up, and then it goes sideways three days in a row of doing nothing that gives a chance for coins to catch up right um so going back to theta real quick so again the idea here is if we do so on the bottom is theta and then on the top is total three so if this is a a, B, C, or a flat, then this could be an A, B, or better yet, a rise, crash, retrace, reaccumulation, sideways, breakout. So something like that, where we retest the bull market support band, we continue higher, get a nice W shape, a nice W shape, right? Just hopefully it's not a three drives to the high. So I think that should be just about it. Just, you know, a little update on this Saturday. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Just wanted to shoot out a little update here. I sent a video out, uploaded one. Um, the video before this is the TD sequential. So a lot of people can't find the indicator and where to find it, how to find it. Um, so it's, it, you know, I, I kind of go over what's going on with that. And then also a lead into this video, which is the part two of the video I did before. So just chiming in here saying, hey, we had a nine sell. So we expect, you know, a pullback, either a one. So if it is a correction, it's a one to four candle correction. So here's one, two. We could get three, four. If it's more, then it's probably more of a reversal. Then continue, right? So let's see if this plays out in a correction, then a continuation. Or if it's a full reversal, then it could be a flat, which is fine because look. Look how high we are above the bull market support band. We are sitting about about 20 25 between 20 and 25 percent above the band which is a lot of wiggle room and then you also have this area in here right so we're sitting at 537 billion uh back test potentially 490 billion to 473 billion right so at the moment, I'm thinking something like this. So let's see what happens in here. Worst case scenario, see what happens in here, right? Now, if this turns into a one, two, three, four, five, and we just get a little pullback and a five, that would be great. I would love it. Let's go. So looking at Hedera hash graph, H bar, that would actually line up with this because you have a shoulder a head and a shoulder so a pullback a pullback right uh what about link link is just on another planet <laughs> you just never know what's going on with link it's it's definitely different than others xrp so if you look at xrp it tells me we probably need another pullback too because we broke below the bull market support band we came up and retested it so we could come back down again right so that would be one two three four five and then continue higher and then you want to see that divergence between this the fourth and the fifth the fourth and the fifth um waves here 
So if the RSI come, if we come down and make a low, you want to see the RSI make a higher low going up. And that would be the signal to go long. And hopefully we can get a nine right in there. That would be amazing. So a lot of charts are saying, hey, we either have bullish sideways consolidation slash correction then continuation or a much bigger pullback momentarily until we get back and reset. So, you know, same with XLM, Ethereum. I mean, this, just look at Ethereum. Uh, it looks like it could definitely use a pullback. I mean, we had a nine buy. We came all the way up. Now we have a nine sell. So it could be a one, two, three, four, five. We can pull back and go five, then come down for ABC, back testing this area, continuate, continuation, or one, two, three, one, two, three, then continue higher. So it really depends. We have to see how this plays out in here, but um, zooming really close two hour chart I mean at the moment it still looks pretty bullish you got this move up well, let me take that off looks like you got this potential bull flag in here maybe 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 right so Let's see, if I zoom out. Yeah, it could just be, it could be just getting started, you know? It could be just getting started, which would be the fourth wave idea. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. We do look maybe a potential bull flag right here. So you have your flag, maybe come down a little bit more, break out. We'll see. We'll keep we'll we'll update. It is the weekend, so it's it's you know low volume. Let's see what the weekly candle says. We probably so my main thing here is next week is probably gonna be a dumpy pullback week maybe if if we have that flat if we don't then it could set us up for a bigger pullback or a bigger upswing i mean you can see uh solana right looks like it needs to come back this down move and retrace this down move up here before coming back down then continuing higher so we'll see. ADA, you know, looks like kind of similar where you have this shoulder, this head. Maybe we pull back and get this other shoulder or worst case, we pull back into the bull market support band, making a bigger shoulder. Right. So that would be great if we can get some type of clear signal because, you know, we've been going up, 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 up. We need a counter move before continuation. So that'll be it for this video. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the second part on this Saturday day. Um, Saturday day. Saturday, beautiful day, at least here in Southern California. Um, wherever you are in this great world, I appreciate you guys. And uh, um, the crypto family is, uh, you know, a lot of crypto communities um there's tribalism but here all cryptos in my opinion are welcome because we're all on the same team and that is what against the fiat currency system against the central bank tyranny and uh promoting freedom so all right guys i appreciate you guys thank you and i will catch you on the next video cheers